Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Epic Thunder here, bringing you a Black Ops 2 commentary, and it's my little answer video for you guys. I asked you last week to give me some questions in the comment section below, and there's a decent enough number of you guys who uh, definitely left me some decent questions, and I hope I answer your questions to the best of my ability, and here we go. First question comes to us from John Hobbit Dottery, and his question is, ass or tits? Butt or boobs? It's a age-old question that has played, plagued mankind for ages. Well, this is a great question to start out with. Let's get the funny question out of the way first. Now, I'm going to present both sides of this argument before saying the answer, my answer, because, quite frankly, there's a lot to this. In reference to boobs, there are, they're just fun to play with. Breasts are just sexy to look at and add some much-desired curves that help discern the females from the males, you know. Plus, there's something that girls are born with. They can always go to the gym and get a sexy booty, but you can't give yourselves beggar hooters without surgery. So, personally, when it comes to a pair of honkers, I want at least a handful. Am I right? I mean, come on. If we turn the other cheek and talk about butts, see what I did there? There's the fact that I'd rather my girl look like an hourglass than a V, if you know what I mean. Think about the shape of an hourglass and think of the letter V in the shapes and everything. So, catch on to what I mean there. She has to have a big booty so I can call her a big booty, you know? There's the fact that women with bigger, more round butts are just more fertile than women who don't, scientifically proven, by the way, and that naturally attracts men to mate. Just It just does. But I have to choose. And I choose, hands down, boobs. I just, I find them more attractive. I feel like they're more of a turn-on. There's not really much other than that. That's my reasoning. They just, I like them more. That's just my personal opinion. Nothing to do with no in-depth crap. Next question comes to us from Jake Lunar. And his question is, what is your favorite place to eat? Well, this is a tough but easy question, and this is why. The restaurant that I go to the most that I really enjoy is Taco Bell. I freaking love to eat at Taco Bell. I usually eat like five or six soft-shell tacos at one time. But Taco Bell isn't my favorite restaurant. It's my favorite place. My favorite place to eat at is Pizza Hut. The thing is, I only eat at Pizza Hut maybe once a month, sometimes twice if I'm lucky, but I just love their pizza. The simplicity of their layers of bread, tomato sauce, cheese, pepperoni, and grease. Lots of grease. Oh, which is so freaking good. I used to like Domino's too, but then they changed the recipe and made it with some organic crap and 27 herbs and spices or whatever the hell they did. And it hasn't been as good since. So, Pizza Hut. My favorite place to eat is Pizza Hut. Mm, here's a good one. Blackjack Gamer 21, good friend of mine. What are your thoughts on gun control? Ah, very hot topic in the United States, definitely. With all the school shootings, everyone's been all about this. You know, Newtown and everything. I'm not going to go in depth with both sides of the argument because that would take hours. But instead, I'm just going to say what I have to say on the subject. Now, we've all heard the saying, guns don't kill people, people kill people. That is basically my standpoint on this whole mess. It's not guns getting up and going to places and shooting people up. It's people who have lost their shit and go killing people. Just because, you know, let's put, let's put out a couple of hypothetical situations out there. Let's say that a group of people go to a mall and each of them has a Louisville Slugger baseball bat. And they just walk around and start bashing people's heads in. They just slaughter a whole bunch of people. Now tell me this. How is that any better than if they had went in there with a couple of handguns and shot them? Quite frankly, I'd rather be shot than beaten to death. I don't know about you, but actually that's not the point. The point is that if the scenario really did happen, would baseball bats become illegal? Would America's favorite pastime be taken down forever? No, of course not, because we all know that it's the fault of the guys with the bats that kill people. Not the baseball bats going around and beating people to death. We can comprehend the stupidity that would arise if baseball bats were deemed illegal. Another situation. Let's say America did make guns illegal. Nobody could have guns of any kind. No citizens have guns, period. What's to stop the same guy who would have went to a school and shot people up, but instead getting a knife or a baseball bat, or even making a bomb? It would not be that hard to figure out how to make a bomb powerful enough to take out a small classroom. Hell, I'm sure Google will be able to help you out with that. Taking away guns wouldn't do jack shit with preventing small disasters from happening. That's my stand on gun control. 
Next question is more about my YouTube channel career and people who I've interacted with over the years. And this comes to us from uh, Tryhard Cow. His gamer tag is DD Clutch. He's also an Xbox friend of mine. And this question is Why did Reptar and Soup leave? This is a good question. Most of you won't know who either of these guys are, but they are I is Reptarded and Sniping Soup. They were friends of my channel way back during the lifespan of Modern Warfare 3. Back in MW3, I produced a bunch of trolling videos. That was the primary output of videos I did, were funny trolling videos. Reptar and Soup were two other YouTubers who were also small channels who did trolling videos. For quite a while, though, these two have been out of contact with me, and I haven't played with them in a long time. So now that you have the backstory, here's what went down. I was Reptar is the kind of guy who's funny at times, but can be a real ass all the rest of the time. Sniping Soup got tired of this and left our little YouTube crew. I understand, and we're actually still friends and watch each other's videos and everything and comment and stuff, but we haven't played together since, like, last summer, so it's been a while. Why did Reptar leave? Honestly, I have no idea. My first guess is that he had a stroke while masturbating and died. If I, <laughs> if I had to give a serious answer, I would probably be that he got bored with making YouTube videos, because he hasn't made a video in, like, months and just kind of quit. So there's my thoughts on the matter, if I had to give a guess. Do you have an education? As asked by Bulmer Bulmer. It's a strange name. But, uh... Oh, I hope you're not trying to be a hater. If you are, then F you too, dude. I don't need any haters on this channel when it's still a small fish in a big pond. Go bother some guy who has a reputation to take down. Go bug him. <laughs> but on the off chance that you may just be asking about my academic endeavors, I am currently a senior in high school. I've applied to and have been accepted to multiple colleges, one of which is actually a pretty nice university. I excel in math, English, music, multimedia, and computer technology. I'm pretty much the nerd, quote-unquote nerd, in my class. Not even the smartest, but... I look the part, so I get called the nerd anyways. So if you genuinely wanted to know about my education, there it was. If you were calling me stupid for whatever reason, well then, go to a petting zoo and let a goat bite your nipples off. Because I don't want you here. You don't have to go home, you just can't stay here. Bye-bye. What is your favorite Flash game, as asked by John Hobbit? A nice and simple question. My favorite Flash game would have to go to Bloons Tower Defense 4. It's by far the best looking tower defense game I've ever played, and it's really addictive. There's a leveling system in, in the game that you have, but uh, if you aren't signed into the way main website account, uh, which is like Ninja Kiwi, I think, is the people who made the game, but if you're not signed into their website, then, uh, you know, if you're not signed in with any kind of account, then your progress is only saved on that computer and in that browser. It has to deal with, like, your cookies and everything. So... Over the years, I've probably leveled past max level about a half a dozen times or more. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I have like a full dozen of different browsers and computers that I've gotten to max level on. I definitely put a lot of time into that game, that's for sure. So that's my answer. Balloons Tower Defense 4. Google it, it's a fun game. Will you upload a face vlog? As asked by Snowstorm13. Oh man, this is a good question, and I've been waiting for someone to ask me this for quite a while. The answer, quite simply, is no. I have no intention of showing my face to you all, at least not anytime soon. There's two main reasons of why I'm doing this. One, I am one ugly looking guy. I'm afraid that I'll show my face and y'all be like, Dang, that's one ugly looking guy! I'm out of here! Unsub Thunder! <laughs> the second reason being that I like to, I'm going to force you guys to have a mystery. What does that guy look like? Just how ugly is he? You know, other channels where I've seen the YouTubers, or where I haven't seen the YouTuber's face, give me that wonder. You know, and I kind of enjoy it. Like, what does he look like? You know? So I hope that you all can enjoy the mystery that I'm putting about it, and have a good time watching my videos anyway. So there's my response. No, I do not plan on showing my face, at least not for a long time. So that's it. Those are all the questions that I viewed as uh, decent questions that I can give some decent answers to. I hope you have enjoyed. 
If you did, please like the video, leave comments, and if you have any more questions, ask them in the comment section below, and I'll, you know, respond to those in the comments, and that's it. That's all I gotta say on the matter. Hope you enjoyed. Epic Thunder, rolling out.